So you're thinking about them again, the smile, the way they talk, how their presence seems to take up way too much space in your head. It feels magical, but it's not magic at all. What you're really experiencing is your brain's secret formula for attraction, and once you understand it, everything makes a lot more sense. 1. The three-part attraction system. Attraction isn't some random spark. It's a coordinated response built on three systems, lust, attraction, and attachment. Lust is biological. It's your body's first signal, driven by hormones like testosterone and estrogen. It says, let's connect with someone. It's primal, instinctive, and designed to get you moving toward others. Then comes attraction, the butterflies, the obsession, the rush. That's dopamine. When you start falling for someone, dopamine floods your brain. It's the same chemical released when you eat your favorite meal or win something, and it's powerful. It makes this person feel addictive. Finally, there's attachment. This is where long-term love comes in. Hormones like oxytocin, the cuddle chemical, and vasopressin are released during intimacy, trust-building moments, and even deep conversations. They create a sense of emotional security, the glue that holds people together. And here's the twist. These three systems don't always work as a team. You might feel lust toward one person, intense attraction to another, and deep emotional attachment to someone else. Yeah, your brain can be complicated. 2. The power of familiarity. Let's talk about one of your brain's sneakiest tricks, the mere exposure effect. This is the psychological phenomenon where the more you're exposed to someone, the more attractive they seem. That co-worker, classmate, or mutual friend you weren't interested in at first. Suddenly, the more you see them, the more they grow on you. That's not random, it's repetition. Your brain starts to associate them with comfort and familiarity, and then it goes even deeper. Your subconscious might actually guide you toward people who remind you, in some way, of your parents. Not in appearance, but in mannerisms, tone, emotional patterns. It's not weird, it's just your brain choosing what feels emotionally familiar. 3. The unexplainable X factor. Now here's where science meets mystery. Sometimes people click for reasons we just can't explain. It's not about hormones or psychology, it's something more. Psychologists call it the X factor, that spark or undeniable pull. You see it in couples who don't match on paper, different backgrounds, personalities, even lifestyles. And yet, it works. It's not just about logic. It's about emotion, energy, and timing. And sometimes, it's about seeing something in someone that others overlook. Not all love stories start with fireworks. Some start with a slow, quiet flame that grows stronger over time. Where attraction builds the more you get to know someone. Maybe they weren't your type at first. But time, shared experience, and trust turned into real connection. And when that happens, the bond often runs deeper and lasts longer than anything instant ever could. But in the end, while the crush might start in your head, love is built in how you grow with someone. Science explains the spark. But who you choose and who chooses you back still comes down to shared values and how you show up for each other over time. If this made you think differently about your own crushes, hit subscribe and let's keep exploring what really goes on behind the scenes of human connection.